My name is Peter Steigerwald. I am the co-owner of Aspen Comics with Frank Master Morrow. And uh, I do quite a bit here. Everything from uh, coloring to drawing to writing to logo design to basically anything we need to do to keep us on our feet. The best part of the business is art. I got into this this whole career uh, in, an, in an angle of art. Uh, some people get into it because they really love comic books. I like I like comics and I like the, the science behind it and the, the methodology behind it, but I really got into it for the pure art creation of it. It is more than film, more than anything else, the only true team artwork form, uh, team form of artwork. Uh, it takes many, many people, uh, anywhere from three to 15 people to put a book out monthly. And all those people working well together, work, working to improve every other person's work, every stage of the game, all the way up through is what it takes to do a book monthly. It's tough. My ultimate career goal is, well, create memorable stories, create great comics that people will remember for a long time. And we've already, I'm already achieved quite a bit of what my ultimate career goals are. I mean, I have other artistic goals that I'd like to indulge, but you know, all that can be completed within the scope of Aspen Comics. I mean, this is um, one of the things that I, I'd always talked about doing being, you know, owning a company and uh, running and doing comics, and this is what I do. It is a smaller marketplace. Um, it was larger 10 years ago. Um, and being a smaller marketplace, people are tighter and pickier about what they support and what they like and what they'll choose to spend their money on. Um, which has made the loyalty of our fans that much more important to us and you know the fact that they recognize the quality of what we do and help to spread the word on that is all that much more important. I don't know as a kid I suppose I mean I, I bought flying would be great I mean as a kid I always kind of wanted to be able to transform into other animals and do that but not only just not only see and remember it in my in my view but be able to remember it and see how a fly sees you know it's one of the things we we can't get scientifically is to actually get into a bird's brain and really see how they see we can make guesses but we can't really see what the world looks like or sounds like to them and that's always something that I really want to do I mean there's a couple characters in comics that transform into other animals, but they generally keep a humanist relationship to it. It'd be really interesting. I mean, in, uh, there was a book, uh, uh, Once the Future King, uh, where Wart, who was Arthur, transformed into a bunch of different animals so that Merlin could teach him about the world. That really grabbed my imagination as a child, and you know, turn into a hawk and see the world, remember the world as what a hawk sees and the way he sees it and a fish and other things like that. I think that would be, that'd be cool.